Hello everybody and welcome to um, this video. It is about the Cosmic Slumber Tarot by Tilly Walden, published by Liminal Eleven Publishing. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be showing it to you guys. I haven't had a chance to do that yet because I've been busy AF, but here it is. So something cool about this particular deck um, is that... Um, so they published the Modern Witches, um, the Modern Witch Tarot deck too. Um, so the Modern Witch Tarot can sometimes slide out, to which if you have that deck and you have the problem, the solution is just to squeeze it. <laughs> you just squeeze it and it doesn't fall out, which is fine. But that is something that happens. Um, however, on their new decks, look at this. It is magnetic. So you don't have to worry about it like pick, you don't have to worry about picking it up and then dropping it, which is really good. So the back of the box says, if the universe could sleep, where would her dreams lead? Hand painted and bursting with color, the cosmic slumber tarot um, evokes imagery from subconscious and subliminal states. It's a tarot deck energized by a soulful warmth, by a soul, by a soulful warmth from award-winning comics prodigy Tilly Walden. So. Super nice, this is the box. The devil card is featured on the box. And I believe this is the sun card, I think. And then the hermit, there's a black cat on the hermit card. So this is the little box. Oop. So you have the guidebook in here and you have the cards. Um, you cannot take the cardboard out, so. Speaking of black cats, <laughs> she's being very talkative this morning. So for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna put this back in here so that way I don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna put that right there and we're gonna take a look at the little guidebook. This is it. And it's very reminiscent of the Modern Witch Tarot um, guidebook. Um, I really, really, really love the style of it. So this is the Modern Witch and this is the Cosmic Slumber. So I, I I love what they're doing with they they really make it an experience when you when you get one of their decks liminal. So we have forward introduction, major minor, bonus cards, terror spreads. So the majors Full color representation of the card and a little bit about the card. It follows that for every major. Um, for the minors, you don't have representations of every card, but you do have like about each card. And we have how to read tarot. Four card spreads. That's interesting because normally it's three card spreads. The Celtic cross. The dream path of spheres. Huh. And what does the universe dream? Hmm. Interesting. Then you have bonus cards, the morning and the night. That's the guidebook. So the thing that I say the most about the Modern Witch Tarot is that the cardstock is phenomenal that it is just simply to die for um, and I'm going to show you a comparison between between the card stocks and um, they're almost identical I do think I don't know I think they might be really similar actually um, I feel like the modern witch tarot is just like the the card with the thickest card stock in the world which I love. So I think with the Cosmic Slumber Tarot, maybe it made it a little thinner, which is, I mean, fine. It doesn't really matter to me either way. Um, so this is the backing of the cards. So it is reversible if that's something that you choose to um, incorporate into your practice. I personally do not. Um, I, I say I don't. It's not something that I go out of my way to incorporate. But if, you know, I have a deck that's all... Um, all upright cards, and then when it comes out reverse, I pay attention to it. 
So we're just gonna go through the cards. Love this magician. This is a very beautiful deck. I love the Emperor card here because it's, it's, it has the protection aspect of the Emperor. I feel like this Emperor card is um, reminiscent of like the real Emperor energy, like the real masculine energy, like using it to protect those that are more vulnerable. The Hierophant. The Lover's card, that's what's on the box. I don't know how I got whatever I said. Lover's card. So in this case, the angel is holding the lovers. Hmm, there's a lot going on there. The chariot. The hermit card, which I just love. I've never seen a black cat on the hermit card and it makes me happy. Normally it's always on the Queen of Wands. The Hanged One. I like this Death card too. I am... Um, I'm very interested in reading what the guidebook says about this Death card. As soon as I said that, I was like, why not? I want to see what, hmm, interesting. I thought I was going to talk something about the water in the card, but I guess, I guess not. Temperance, the devil. The tower. The moon. And I will draw a card for all of you, the universe. So wands became torches. It's very interesting to see how they um let me see something real quick. Because what's interesting to me is that they chose the two of torches to almost, the two of wands to almost be like a choice. And I don't understand that. To me, the two of wands is not a card about choice. It's a card about embracing possibility. Although maybe she's embracing the possibility of her choices. Who knows? I don't know. I'll have to read the guidebook. This is kind of cool. They made it to the top. It's very interesting. Oh, there's so many kitties. Kitty, kitty, another kitty. <laughs> More kitties. The Ace of Cups. <laughs> Yeah, this is a very interesting deck. I, 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 I like the... Um, I don't know what the word is for it. Uh, the abstractness of it. While also not being super abstract. You know what I mean? Like, if you have a Rider Waite Smith guidebook, like, you can use this deck with it. I mean, some of the imagery is obviously going to be different, but you can. I don't know what that sovereign was. The Prince of Cups, Queen, King. It's a good King of Cups, actually. Ace of Swords. Mm. Oh, I like that. Nine, ten. Very nice. Yeah, I really, I mean, this sword suit is really cool. I like this queen of swords. It's almost like, oh, my cards are falling over. Like she has blood on her, like she just <laughs> battled. 
It's a good king of swords too. Pentacles, yay, one of my favorite suits. That's interesting. Huh. I like this. This might be one of my favorites in this deck, actually. Oh. Oh. See, these are the two bonus cards. So we have the morning and we have the night. Um, it's always kind of weird if when I choose to leave bonus cards in because there's a particular deck, the uh, Ethereal Visions Tarot. I don't know. It's the one by Matt uh something i forgot his name matt um damn it i forgot his name i think it starts with an, i think it starts with an s i forgot i forgot um i i really i swear to god um if i knew where it was i would totally look and see and tell you but um i don't know where it is in my cabinet so i'm going to draw some cards for all of you actually let me see I thought it was, I thought it was, but it, it wasn't. Gosh, I forgot his name. How did I forget his name? Either way, it's the Ethereal Visions. It's like the Art Nouveau goldish deck. He has um, an extra card or two in his deck. So this card is for everyone watching. Um, oh. Okay, that's like 14 cards that came out, so. Um, I actually do think this cardstock is about as thick as the, no, it is, it is thinner. It is thinner than the Modern Witch Tarot. Because I just compared it to the Modern Witch Tarot in the bar, and it is much thinner. But it doesn't feel thinner, so, oh, my favorite. So, the Nine of Cups is my favorite um, non-court minor arcana card. <laughs> There's a lot of stipulations to that card. It's my favorite non-court card in the Minor Arcana. Because it really is, I call it the Disney card. I call it the dreams come true, wishes come true kind of card. So, and oh my gosh, look, and then the first words are dreams and wishes. Ah! What you have waited for is here. Your dreams will come to fruition. Send your hopes out to the universe and she will answer back. So if, you, if there's something that you've been looking to manifest, if there's something that you've been looking to bring into your world, do not give up on it. A lot of times we don't see our manifestations happen because we're so focused on everything else that we forget to actually ask the universe for what we want. If we ask the universe for what we want, then the universe gives that like cosmic okay for us to, for us to do that, right? For us to, for us to begin the process of manifesting what we want and truth be told we're always manifesting when it comes to our vibration our vibration is always asking for something but if you're looking for help from like your spiritual friends um like i mean like actual like you know ascended masters gods goddesses um angels and stuff you have to ask for their help and so realize that right now the universe is supporting your dreams and wishes and you don't need to do anything crazy you don't need to do anything extra to act for the universe to work for you sit in gratitude and appreciation of all that you have and let that gratitude and appreciation kind of be the water that you float in for a little bit all right so this has been a review reveal walkthrough of the cosmic slumber tarot and i i, I just i honestly could not be more in love like i'm already going to change my decks that i have in rotation to include this because it's amazing so um, Liminal Eleven, thank you um, for creating such an amazing deck. I, Tilly Walden, you're amazing. I, um, I just, I really, really love this deck. If you want to book a reading with me, you can do so at the link in my bio. Um, my business is changing, changing, changing in December. So nothing is staying the same. So if you see something you like, go ahead and get it. Share this video with people that you think would like it and leave me a comment telling me what your favorite card was. All right, I'm sending you so much love. Bye.